of the letter A. It suggests cream of the crop, brilliance. Think A team, A list, A student, A class. Huh. I think many would argue that the Mercedes-Benz A class was anything but brilliant. It had its issues despite its popularity. However, the new A-Class has launched and proves to be all new, starting with the exterior design. The first thing that grabs your attention is that CLS inspired front end which features a trademark diamond grill and headlights that are thinner and pointier than before. Along the flanks, the sharp creases that define the previous model have been smoothed out, something that's sure to divide opinion among diehard A-Class fans. Even more controversial are the tail lamps, which are incredibly similar to those of the Kia Cerato. Surely an A-student knows not to crib. So, after seeing that exterior, I think you're either going to fall in love with it at first glance or you might just need to see it once or twice over to really, really like it. One thing you may not need to be convinced about though is this interior. The cabin is redefined with its modern and sophisticated look. It feels spacious and revolutionized, setting the benchmark for its rivals. So what I do love about this cabin is the sporty leather seats. Very comfortable. Also, they've used such great material throughout the cabin, you can feel the quality. But the focal point, however, has to be this double panel screen. This aviation floating style dashboard is quite avant-garde. You may have seen this design in the new s -Claws, making this hatch the first to have executive sedan technology in its segment. Settings and controls can also be accessed using the center console touchpad, adding to that ample sophistication around the cabin, as well as driver ease and comfort. While on the topic of comfort, I should mention that a reworked suspension in the new A class brings about more overall refinement. All models feature McPherson struts in the front end, while rear suspension depends on the specification. The high-spec derivatives feature multi-link, while the entry-level A200 makes use of the torsion beam suspension that delivers a superb ride. If you ever drove the previous model A Class, you'll know that the ride was not that good. It was rough and it was a bit noisy inside the cabin. I'm driving the A200 and I have to say, they've really, really pulled up their socks. It drives really well, it gives a nice compliant ride and uh, the cabin is quiet. Listen to that. I love it. In addition to an all-new platform, it comes with a range of reworked engines. Mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission, the A200 develops 120 kilowatts and 250 Nm, while the A250 offers a dynamic 165 kilowatts and 350 Nm. So Mercedes-Benz claims a fuel consumption of about 5.6 litres uh, per 100 kilometres in the A200. And uh, right now I am sitting at 5.8, so close enough. You're definitely going to need that fuel saving because pricing for this car is a little steep. The A200 will cost you about 499,000, that's half a million rand. And the A250 Sport will set you back about 593,000 300 rand. Yes, we have to agree that the new A-Class really doesn't come cheap, but it does however offer the latest in automotive technology as well as a raft of safety features from the S-Class, which include semi-autonomous driving. One function I thoroughly enjoy in this car has to be the MBUX, and you can download this on your Android as well as your iOS. So 
it looks exactly like this. Hey Mercedes! How can I help you? Navigate me to the Cape Town International Airport. Do you want to start route guidance or modify the current route guidance? Please start new route guidance. Start of route guidance. And it's as easy as that. Currently, the A-Class is only available in the A200 and A250 variants, while we can expect the AMG and diesel variants to follow in 2019. So having driven the new A-Class, we can definitely say it has improved. A new interface, a new suspension, and a new exterior. Also, that interior is to die for. So, has it earned the name A-Class? I think it has.